Hello everyone, this is FreeAccess. I know it's been a while. And today we will gonna see how can you spoof your Mac address when your system reboots. It there are a plethora of reasons for that. Uh, like uh, for privacy concerns, of course, or you wanna change your for while pen testing. And why do you wanna share your Mac address to each Wi-Fi that you ever connected? Okay. So for that we will uh, use a uh, Mac Changer. We'll, uh, okay, this is a requirement. Okay. So we will require two things: Mac Changer command line utility. You can install it. Uh, and if you are using Black Arch, Kalinux, or anything like that, then it comes pre-installed. I'm pretty sure about it. And second thing is System D. Okay, System Daemon. Uh, um, it is a service. Okay, System Daemon is a service that comes pre-packaged with, I think, most of the distribution that you are using. Okay, um, it, they are very rare. Uh, there are very few distribution that does not come with uh, System D. Okay, so what is System D? You can install it, Mac change it like this. Uh, if you ever use something like System CTL okay system system ctl status sshd okay uh sshd so yeah this is then i'm pretty confirmed that system d is installed in your system okay so for that first of all let's talk about what is mac changer okay that's the most important important thing mac changer is a command line utility that uh, allow you to spoof your mac address temporarily okay so very small utility that you, as you can see so to change my mac address first of all I need to know uh, what Ethernet. Okay, they are they are okay. They are different uh, interfaces. So, like for an example, uh, I have an interface ENP one S zero, and uh, most commonly you will see ETS zero, WN zero, something. So you have to specify for each uh, interface what you want to gonna use. Okay, most of the time it will gonna be WN zero. You mean uh, Wi-Fi, and if you are using virtual machine, then it will gonna be ETS zero. Okay. So I'm, this is my current MAC address. I, I, I want to change this MAC address. So I can use uh, MAC changer for that. For an example, I can just do, first of all, I need to down the interface. So first of all, uh, IFW uh, down, okay? And I require pseudo privileges. Now I can change MAC address. For that, I, I will require, again, pseudo privileges, MAC changer, and tag R. That simply means completely random MAC address, okay? And uh, I'm disconnected. I don't know, okay? I just uh, down the interface that's why okay now my mac address my current mac address is this my permanent mac address is this and my new mac address is this okay so i practiced it before that's why you can see otherwise it will gonna be uh, different okay so let's see if my mac address is changed or not i cannot see first of all i need to make it up okay now mac address changed i need to my up my interface and uh, if i see my mac address changed and i'm back uh, connected to wi-fi okay so this is how uh, basically mac changer works okay there are other uh, 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 you can say options that you can try but now we want to execute this command automatically whenever our system boots okay and for that we will use systemd okay so here's an article from uh, archwiki it says you can create a systemd unit file okay a unit file uh, name this and uh, i already created it here uh, so let me explain you what it does actually so okay here's the file max spoof uh you can name it anything but give it something sensible and add that it don't put anything after the added it i will tell you why because it's kind of a work as template file okay so whatever uh comes after the add that it it will gonna work as a variable and gonna replace here percent i with percent i okay you can see it percent i percent i okay you can check it uh, so what it does first of all this is a description okay and uh, these four commands or these four lines that simply mean your mac address should be changed before your interface goes on okay for an example you are booting your system your mac address has to be changed before uh, uh, you connect to wi-fi okay that's the most important thing that's how you can uh, uh, prevent yourself from accidental connection to the wi-fi okay and uh, the command that i want to execute this okay i want to change the mac address uh, this is the static path you can uh, use which command wick mac changer mac changer and it will gonna tell you the path of your utility okay and then minus r uh, i want to minimize mac address and the percent i this will gonna replace anything that i will provide here at the rate after the at the rate and that would be my interface name did you remember we use uh, wn0 or EF emp0 something okay interface name and wanted multi-user target simply means uh, your system uh, okay multi-user target is a state of machine where you can interact with your your system is booted 
but you cannot interact with it because there is no display yet okay because display takes time to turn on so this is that state that simply means your uh, system your mac address should be changed before your system boots up okay that's what it means okay uh okay uh just after the booting the system take it as like okay if i explained it properly so this is the thing this is the command so for that we need to copy this script of course we will require sudo privileges uh sudo cp max spoof and into the etc system d and then system and yeah we have copied this this file okay now just copy this thing because i don't want to type it now we need to enable this service and if you ever use system ctl before then you already know what i will gonna do system ctl enable tech tech now and if you don't want to provide it you just need to restart your system okay and this thing remember provide the interface name and this will gonna be this one okay in my case in my host machine i use wn0 but it's just a one-time process and just press enter now it should be working now okay so if i see my mac address for now it's something like this okay and i will go here and paste it here that was my original mac address okay now let's restart the system and see if it worked or not properly and before i restart the system i just want to know you i just want to tell you that how do i use it okay uh, because i have a script that set up my arch linux so i just double get it i never worried about it okay uh, on my host machine i use this script and it freaking stinking works okay i don't need to worry about it at all so just output the file here and then just enable uh, max scope at the rate wlan service okay uh, i don't need to worry about it it just automated and you also don't need to worry whenever you set up your system just do this thing for once okay and let's just re reboot and i'm pretty sure it will not gonna take uh, too much time it's pretty fast and uh, let's see and after that i will tell you what are the advantages a bit okay and what are the disadvantages of using this not this technique changing or spoofing your mac address again and again so for that it's pretty fast and if we come here i open my terminal i will test this was previously my mac address and if i come over here and this is my new mac address okay so it's changed and now if i reboot again it will gonna change my mac address again so first thing that i want to tell you so it's okay if you are in a uh, university or in organization then they can monitor you okay what i mean if you are uh, using captive portal if you are in any organizational network or university network uh, or uh, on airport there you will have to provide id and password okay and they will gonna know who use this id and password and is connecting with uh, their system and their mac address getting changed again okay i a little bit confused it so if somebody is logging with the, their id and password uh with the same mac uh, address it's okay but if you are logging with different mac address okay then they will gonna know that uh, it's somebody else second thing it's not uh, any problem if you are not doing any shenanigans okay it's okay i just want to change my mac address what's bad in it nothing bad okay you can use it i use it daily uh and uh, second thing if you are using uh, in an organization error there would be something called captive portal c a p captive portal okay that simply means you have to log in again and again okay whenever you reboot your system you have to log in again into your wi-fi i'm not talking about your home network wi-fi uh, you don't need to connect it it's just a web page uh, opens automatically where you will enter your id and password and the way workaround is very easy uh, if you would ask your colleague or your friend give me your id password you can use it okay they will gonna give you uh, it's not so mandatory uh, it's not so secured in, in most of the organization so yeah that's all for today and that's how you can change your mac address uh, on system boot and my videos will gonna be a little bit late ups and down you know okay and uh, i'm just waiting for i just got time that's all i could say and my yeah that's all the thing i had to say i use it daily and it's a good practice to do okay you don't need to ever worry about your changing mac address so thank you so much for watching see you soon maybe okay i'm not sure maybe thank you